Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this beautiful gold cut crease using the new It's All Good palette from Colourpop. So if you're ready, let's get started. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Now Colourpop eyeshadows barely have any fallout. So I'm going to start with my base makeup. First, to prime my face, I'm going to be using the Anti-Aging Face Primer from Amazing Cosmetics. This is a moisturizer and a primer built into one product. So it's going to fill in all those pores, fine lines, and it'll also smooth out the skin, nourish the skin, and keep it ready for the foundation that's coming up next. For foundation, I'm going to be using something that looks very natural. So I'm going with the L'Oreal Fresh Wear in 460, which is golden beige. And for reference, I'm an NC35 in MAC Foundations. And I'm going to be using this damp beauty sponge from Colourpop to blend it out. This is a long wearing foundation and gives you a medium to full buildable coverage. And best of all, it makes your skin look like skin and lets your skin breathe. So all in all, it has a beautiful formula. Now it doesn't oxidize on me but I've read reviews and I've heard from other people that it does oxidize on them. So if you're like them, if it oxidizes on you but you still love the formula, I would say go for a lighter shade so when it oxidizes it matches your skin tone. To conceal and highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite Milani concealer in 145 which is warm beige. I'm going to be using it to conceal my dark circles and then on my lids as a base for the eyeshadows and I'm also going to use it in the high planes of my face to highlight it. Concealers are all about experimenting. I've tried everything from drugstore to high end and finally settled for this one. This doesn't crease on me, gives me excellent coverage and it's not drying. Sometimes concealers can give you great coverage but can be extremely drying on your skin, especially if you already have dry skin like me. But this is super blendable and it's very long wearing and overall it gives you a flawless coverage. And now to set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Dermacol Invisible Fixing Powder. As you can see, it's tinted, so it doesn't give you flashbacks. And now to seal the base makeup, I'm going to be using a setting spray. This is the Mega Glow Mist from Wet n Wild. To fill in my brows, I'm using my favorite brow pencil from Benefit. This is precisely my brows in 4.5, which is neutral deep brown. I'm only going to fill in the sparse areas and then use the spoolie brush to lightly brush my hair so the color spreads across evenly. Now let's go ahead and start with the eye makeup. First, as a transition shade, I'm going to dip into concierge with a small blending brush from Colourpop. I'm going to use it to define the outer corner and the crease. I'm going to add just a tad bit of eyeshadow at a time. I don't want to add too much because blending becomes a pain in the... Mm. So I'm just taking very little at a time. And then using a larger blending brush from Colourpop, I'm going to soften this up further.
using a small pencil brush i'm going to dip into vibes and i'm going to use this to deepen the outer crease and then to soften this up i'm going to dip into margarita using a smaller blending brush from colourpop and i'm going to blend it directly over vibes As you can see there's barely any fallout with the eyeshadows so i'm not going to be cleaning up my lids before i cut the crease i'm just using the milani concealer again and i'm going to first mark the area where i want to cut the crease as you know i have hooded eyes so i take the concealer way higher than my natural crease line my natural crease line is the one that is cutting right across the lid and then using the same concealer i'm going to paint my lid just so the colors can pop on my lid i'm using a lighter shade of milani concealer to cut the crease this is in the shade 135 i'm going to let this dry for about a minute just when it gets tacky is when i start with the eyeshadows in the inner third i'm going to be using happy go lucky with a small flat shader brush again from ColourPop. In the center of the lid, I'm going to be using this beautiful gold shadow called Cheers to You. And the flat shader brush that I'm using is from Wet n Wild. I'm also softening the edges and buffing it out so it melts with the other eyeshadows. And in the very outer corner, again, I'm using Vibes just to deepen it. And the brush that I'm using is a definer brush from Coastal Scents. And there's always that one eyeshadow that balances the eye look and brings all the colors together. So I'm going to dip into Margarita again and I'm going to blend it between the brown and the gold. And the blending brush again is from Colourpop. There's a couple of beautiful pressed glitters in here, so I decided to use Gold Star right in the center of the lid. Nice thing about pressed glitters is you don't need a sticky base to apply it. It's already sticky, so you just apply it with your finger and it doesn't give you any fallout. In the lower lash line, first I'm going to smoke out concierge using the smaller blending brush from Colourpop and soften everything up. And then I'm going to use Vibes very close to the waterline and I'm using a pencil brush from Colourpop. To tightline my waterline, I'm using this black gel liner pencil from Colourpop. And then using the BFF liquid liner in black, I'm going to draw out a small wing and line my top lash line. And if you observe, I'm completely avoiding the full line that is going right across my lid to draw out the outer wing. To finish up, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of mascara. This is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. And for false lashes, I'm using Minx from Colourpop.
Using Happy Go Lucky again, I'm going to highlight my brow bones and finish up the eye look. To add some warmth to my face, I'm going to use a bronzer. This is the Rimmel Maxi Bronzer. For blush, I'm using Count Me In from Colourpop. For highlighter, I'm using Thimble from Colourpop. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Colourpop. When I make a video, I try to use the products from the same brand as much as possible um, just to see how they all work together. And because the eye makeup is so intense, I wanted to balance it out with a nude lip. So I'm using Bloom to Bloom again from Colourpop. Here's the completed look. Let me know what you guys think. And if you plan to recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me. All my social media links are listed down below in the description box, along with all the product links. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Again, I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new video. Bye guys. I think you're better.